Hi, I'm Jess Miller-Camp. I'm a PhD student at the University of Iowa. I'm using several different morphometrics techniques. Um, one of the things I'm looking at is snout length, so just traditional morphometrics for that, just measuring the snout length and uh, how long the snout is relative to body size. And another one is geometric morphometrics. I'm actually using several things for that. The one I've done so far is, uh, well started so far, is um, a Fourier transform analysis. It's a kind of outline analysis where you don't need to have homologous land points on uh, the back teeth that are really bulbous. And just to see how that um, shape changed from a squat bulbous kind of thing to a conical pointy tooth um, that you see today. Um, I'll be comparing that to the change in snout lengths to see if there's kind of an offset or if they kind of happen at the same time. Another thing I'll eventually be doing is looking at the overall shape change in like the jaw joint, um, seeing what kind of shift there is to create greater pressure uh, for durophagy versus if you're eating something like a fish, then you're not going to need to have as much pressure when you bite down. So if you're looking at gharials like today, um, they're pretty homodontous, just you know, a bunch of narrow pointy teeth along the entire snout, but there's actually a huge amount of variation. So when you go back all the way down to basal archosaur forms or archosaur morphs, whatever they end up being, uh, like phytosaurs, uh, they actually have four different kinds of teeth and it's not too terribly different but there's some changes in like the height, the bluntness, and the width. Um, but with things like alligatorines, the things that are more closely related to the American alligator than to the spectacled caiman, a lot of the basal forms you actually have like, short pointy ones in front and then you have a couple locations where they're like canine looking things. Um, pretty big, pretty tall, and pointy. But then behind those canines, you get these flat, bulbous things kind of shaped like upside-down cups.